In this video, I'm going to sketch y equals minus 4x over x squared plus 9. OK, so the first thing to do is to see if you can factorise either the numerator or denominator. Obviously, we don't need to bother with the numerator. And the x squared plus 9, well, that doesn't factorise, unfortunately. OK, so uh, we can't really do anything with that at the moment. So let's go straight into drawing some axes. So the first thing we want to do is look for vertical asymptotes. That's when the denominator is 0. But x squared plus 9 is uh, positive for all real values of x. And so there are no vertical asymptotes. OK, so we can scrub that idea. Next up, uh, where does it cross the x-axis? That's when y is 0, when the numerator is 0. And so that will be when x is 0. So it's going through the origin. OK. Um, now, that also answers the question as to where it crosses the y-axis, OK? So, crossing through the origin. So, the other thing that we need to consider is uh, any horizontal asymptote, OK? Now, because the uh, numerator is of a lower power polynomial than the denominator, that means that it's just going to be tending to y equals 0. So, y equals 0 is a horizontal asymptote, OK? So the x-axis. So all we know at the moment is it's got to tend to the x-axis and it goes through the origin. So at this, mo at this point, it's kind of, well, we don't really know how this is going to look. But um, there's really only two things that it could do. Remember, it's got to tend to both of these asymptotes, OK? Or, or, or sorry, to the asymptote uh, from both directions. So either it is crossing through this way, and in so doing, it must then come back on itself to tend towards uh, the asymptote. And then if it's coming through here, it's got to come back on itself and tend towards the asymptote. Or it's coming in from this direction, OK, in a similar way and the reflection of uh, the previous idea. So it's one of those two. So really, all I need to do is check a value to the right of the y-axis just to see if we're above or we're below. So if I substitute x equals 1 in, I get y when x is 1. I get minus 4 over 1 plus 9, so 10, so minus 2 fifths. And so it's negative. So I know that when we're to the right of the y-axis, we are in the negative. We're below the x-axis. OK? So it's got to be doing this. And it'll look something like that. OK? We know that um, it's got to come back and tend towards that x-axis. And we know it can't cross the x-axis again. So we can't, can't like come back and then that way, because it's only crossing through the x-axis once when x is 0 and y is 0. OK? So that is what the shape of the curve must look like. 